May I say to you, sir, ladies, ladies and the gentlemen of the press, let me tell you, if Ashiwaju turns back on his promise, all he said when he was campaigning, I will be the first to talk. I am not timid, though, and I don't shy away from, from facing challenges. But the man I have seen today, I don't eulogize and I don't, I don't praise to, to call the favor. I am no more a small boy. Let me tell you, the man I saw today, and for the actions we have seen, means well for Nigeria. But if there's any reason to derail, it will not be deliberate. And we will all be able to draw his attention to his brief as the president and commander in chief of our country. Let us be optimistic, let us be hopeful, and let us believe that there will be a, turn, a renewed hope. The steps so far taken can readily give us the direction of this government. Elections that come and gone without prejudice to the courts. But it's no more time for campaigns or selling a political party. It is time to govern Nigeria for the benefits of children yet, yet unborn and those of, those of us that are still here. And to equally let you know that I had a very wonderful time with the president. You seem very alert and very clear in the direction he wants to take the country. But he can't do it alone. He needs all of us. Whosoever is on this saddle is Nigeria on the saddle. And we must stand by him. We must give our best. And I want to tell you that people like me, others like Governor Wiki and Governor Makide and other wonderful Nigerians, we have made up our mind that it is better to stand with a man of vision and to stand with Ashwajo Ahmed Balatinubu for the betterment of our country.